nothing matches the look of a clear tabletop with embedments. This two-part video series will show you how to create your own custom resin tabletops. The project starts with a clean piece of wood for the base of the tabletop. You can use plywood, MDF, or solid wood. Here we will use a two foot by two foot piece of plywood. Since we will be pouring a thick layer of resin, we need to create a leak proof barrier around the perimeter. This can be done several ways with different effects. The most basic method is to use tape around the perimeter. The downside of this method is that tape can sag under the pressure of the resin, so it will need to be supported during the cure. This can be done by placing weights of some kind against the tape to hold it upright. Another method is to create a wood frame. This frame can be glued and nailed, then it can be finished as desired when the project is complete. If you wish to see the resin edge, then you will need to apply a border that can be removed once the resin is cured. Smooth polyethylene is a good choice because the resin will not stick to it. We will use a glue gun around all the seams. The glue is easily removed at the end of the project. The nail holes will also need to be filled. On this table, we will use both wood and polyethylene methods for the sake of illustration. Make sure your base is perfectly level so the liquid fills the form evenly. Now that the borders are fastened, we can design the interior. In this video, we will demonstrate three ideas, but the possibilities are endless. As you can see here, we chose to make this into a game board using tile in the center. Around the edge, we will embed newspaper clippings. Family photos and other memorabilia could also be embedded as well. Since resin can be absorbed by the paper, it is essential to seal it first. Ultra Seal is designed for this purpose. First, brush Ultra Seal on the wood. Then, coat the back side of each piece of paper. Apply the paper, and then seal the top. It is not critical that the Ultra Glow be thick, but it is critical that there is not so much as a pinhole that will allow the resin to touch the paper. Brushing two directions can help prevent missed spots. The Ultra Seal must be thoroughly dry before adding resin. It will be clear when it dries. Even though the Ultra Seal is not completely dry at this point, we can start placing tiles for our checkerboard. Since the tiles are heavy and won't float in the resin, we do not need to glue them down. In this section of the table, we will create a beach scene with sand and shells. Again, because all of these items are heavy, they can be set in place without glue. Now we are ready for the resin. Notice that we have covered the table with plastic to protect it. We have also leveled the tabletop that we are making since we will be pouring liquid resin into it. We will be using Tap Plastics Clear Light Casting Resin. Clear Light is a polyester resin that generates heat as it cures. If the heat is too great, it can smoke and even crack, ruining your project. The amount of heat is mostly determined by the thickness of the resin and the amount of MEKP catalyst. The thicker the pour, the less catalyst that should be used. Our tabletop is almost three quarters inch thick. This is too thick to do in one pour, so we will do it in three pours. At this point, you may be wondering how much resin it will take for your project. Here is how to figure it out. This table is 24 inches by 24 inches. 24 times 24 is 576 square inches. If we were to pour this one inch thick, we would need 576 cubic inches. We're only going to pour it three quarters of an inch thick. So three quarters times 576 is 432 cubic inches. 
there are 231 cubic inches in a gallon of resin. So, 432 divided by 231 equals almost 2 gallons. So we will plan to be able to pour approximately 2 gallons for this tabletop. In part 2, we will show you how to measure, mix, and pour the resin for our tabletop.